Hi, I'm Natalie Byrne. You may know me from such things like Period the Book or my incredible Instagram page that you should be following. <laughs> Are you in a constant state of overwhelm? Are you freaking out about how you need to pay your bills? Wondering how you're going to find a life that's filled with purpose and caring about the environment and also maintaining a social life on top of that? <sighs> well, you've come to the right place. I have been suffering with overwhelm, I feel like, since graduation and I now have a foolproof plan that when I start to feel overwhelmed I know exactly what to do and I'm going to share my steps with you. Yeah! I've made some notes. <laughs> First of all, first thing I do when I start to feel really overwhelmed is making sure I'm eating something and I'm drinking enough water so do that first and then we'll get on to the steps. Number one, you want to brain dump everything from inside your head onto a piece of paper. So fill up the piece of paper with all the chores you want to do, everything you want to get done, all your worries and stresses that you have and get it all down on a piece of paper. When we write stuff down on pieces of paper and the mind knows that something has been put somewhere, somewhere safely, it lets go of it. So that is the first thing to do when I start to feel like overwhelmed. <laughs> Number two, look at my space. So that means my digital space and also my actual real, real life space. So the first thing that tends to go when I'm overworking myself and I'm not prioritizing my self care is my room and also the desktop on my laptop. So that's the next thing. Before I can start to like tackle my to-do list, I really need to reset my space, re reorganize, make sure everything is in the right place and then reset my desktop and put stuff on hard drives, back stuff up and then I feel like you, we can move on. So the third thing to do when feeling overwhelmed is looking at your routine. A lot of the time when we start feeling overwhelmed we feel like we have to wake up and immediately start working really for our, for us to work at our best capacity we have to be taking care of ourselves so for me i wake up in the morning and i meditate then i do morning pages i make sure i drink enough water and i have a workout and then i start my day so i feel like i have an hour to myself really taking care of myself my mental health my well-being and i it really just helps that like me time in the morning really helps when things start, start to get really overwhelming or er lots of things start to happen in the day um, that centering myself beginning at the start of the day really just helps and also meditation is, has so much science behind it when I don't meditate in the day in the morning I notice my focus is completely off number four create boundaries you can't do everything, I so I've learned. <laughs> you can't do everything, you can't say yes to everything, you can't say yes to every opportunity that comes your way. We all wanna say yes to every opportunity that comes away, especially at the beginning. Working for free, everyone wants everyone to work for free, especially creative people. And we really have to just set ourselves some boundaries. It means that I'm not, Excess, ex, exaster, exhaust, exhausting, except, exaster. There's an it's exhausting works, but there's another word that I'm not pushing myself too far, and also taking care, able to take care of myself and my mental health at the same time as doing what I want to do and helping people. Think about what are your daily non-negotiables. So for me, this is having my morning routine, so with my morning pages and meditating and working out, going outside is every day I have to go outside. Doing something 
you love every day. That's also one of my points. Um, so whether it's like a TV show or um, cooking like something really nice for myself or like calling a friend, those are my three non-negotiables. So I do them every day without fail, whatever happens. Um, and yeah, I know like going outside seems like crazy, but there's been times where I haven't left the house for days so as a as a <laughs> freelancer and and that's so bad. <laughs> you really have to prioritise your mental health. My other thing is to make sure you do something every day that is enjoyable for you. When my hobby became my work, I forgot like how much I needed something that was just for fun um because that was what drawing was for me it was such a release and such a way to switch off and now it's become my job um I've been like trying to make sure that I am switching off so I really have been getting into sign feel field at the moment <laughs> that's like been um the way that I switch off um and it doesn't have to be like this huge going like out and spending tons of money like make sure that you have things that you can do like with not much effort that you really love um so for me that's also like cooking a really nice home cooked meal calling one of my friends like have I have to do something I love every day because I love my work and I love my job but it is so important for me to be able to switch off number five and this is something I really have been struggling with and I'm trying to do more of is celebrate your small wins and your big wins. I'm the kind of person that I never really stop and think what I've done. And I also like, I, when I got asked to be a DNAD judge, I didn't tell anyone and I didn't celebrate it and I didn't like announce it. And I just was riddled with so much insecurity um that I just kind of didn't tell anyone and that's really now I look back on this year it's really sad and um even really my book I never I didn't really like stop and give myself a break and <laughs> celebrate that and I think that is why I ended up de dealing with so much overwhelm um so make sure you celebrate your small wins and your big wins I think it's really really important because we need energy to keep going and if you're not celebrating what you've done no matter how small it is um like you're just gonna end up feeling overwhelmed like me so do as I say not as I did <laughs> and also I know at the beginning of my career it was really hard for me to be like oh you need to take time you need to take breaks but you do I took a break off Instagram for a while and I posted this Instagram and it was like so different to the stuff that I've made before and you can really see that my that break of not creating all the time just like was paid off and like how important those breaks are so give yourself breaks make sure you like us, us finding time to switch off and celebrate yourself I think that's it if you have any other tips and tricks about how to deal with overwhelm please let me know and leave them in the comments I think this is such a topic that I'm kind of always obsessed with because I don't know running a business by yourself it can I can I can get quite overwhelmed and I feel like it's such a millennial and Gen Z problem that we feel like we have to be doing something all the time whether that's working because everything is just becoming more expensive or and then when we're off work we feel like we have to care like do some type of like activist work it's just like on like going to like hindus and like all these things it's just like adulting is hard and like things are really hard right now i feel like so um i feel like everyone we're all in the same boat like so many people ha have been having this problem i know i'm not alone in this but this is how i've managed to find energy to keep going and I think it's so important to make sure you is that the last thing you want to hear right when you're when you've got so much to do is like stop and tidy up your space <laughs> but honestly 
it pays off like tidy was it tidy bed tidy mind or whatever it's just the easiest for me this is how I have dealt with it and been able to reset my brain and recalibrate and like hit the reset button and feel like I can start fresh and start new and keep going 100 miles an hour <laughs> um that's it from me please let me know if you have any other tips subscribe if you want to see more from me and i'll leave all the links of where else you can find me down below thanks so much for watching bye